Waldo, what do you tell guys, you guys, about what, how different it is when you start playing SEC games? Um, I just tell them to just, just go out there and just be who you are. Just be who you, you've been training your whole life to be because we're in the SEC for a reason and uh, SEC teams are, like they say, our best teams in, in college football. So, so just going out there to face Arkansas, I just tell them just be who you are and just and just, just let go to practice this week and, and get our game plan down and, and so we can go out there and execute. How much does the intensity go up in SEC games? Uh, for me, it doesn't really go out that much. I treat every game like the same because um, I go in every game with the same mentality. I don't really change my mindset in any game. But uh, like I said, I'm just going to – we're just going to go out there and just do what we've been practicing our whole – the whole year for and and go out there and try to execute the game plan the coaches got for us. It was tough for you guys to see Brandon go down. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that was a tough one, man. Uh, Brandon was a he was a he's a really good piece for our team. You know, twelve personnel was me and him in there a lot, and and we was able to do a lot of stuff with um, him, Brandon. But we got uh, Micah that could step up, and also Rico and Luke. So we, we got that's why it's good to have depth in the room. Um, so we could, uh, the young guys got to step up now and, and make plays. Free said he's going to put Lusky out there with you guys. Have you seen, has he been with you guys at all? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got, yeah, we, we got, <laughs> we <laughs> got know, a little, too, yeah, Muskie, yeah, he going to go out there and he, he, he a versatile type of lineman, so he, he could do, do it all for real, but he, he going to be a good uh, piece for us down there in the uh, red zone. Like 13 personnel Yeah, probably 13. You never know. Hey, we going to see game day. <laughs> How his hands on the scale one to ten? His hands? Oh, I don't know. We ain't, we ain't really seen his hands yet. <laughs> we just know he he gonna go down there and and make the block for us, man. Does he claim to be able to catch, sir? Uh, I don't know, man. We gonna see. <laughs> hey, Rob, talk about your touchdown the other day. It seemed like that ball was placed really, really nice for you, and you were able to just kind of turn and spread it away and pretty much the way it went down. Oh yeah, yeah. We 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 practice that every day for real. Just um, Coach Nix, he emphasizes just whatever show the quarterback plays the ball and you just drop step and 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 go uh, make a play for the team. And that's what I did because uh, we practice it the whole the whole year basically. Yeah. Uh, it was great. Uh, it was good for him to perform like that before, right before the SEC game, and and it's gonna build his confidence and and uh, hopefully, uh, not hopefully, but he will go into the next game and and be the same quarterback he was last game. Yeah, what's your connection with him? Uh, it's pretty good. Um, Hank, I know he's a hard worker. Uh, just like Payne, they both like hard workers. They put all the extra work in and. And in the off season, we we all got extra work in together, but he, he he it's pretty good with him, and, and I try to build like a great relationship with all the quarterbacks. So, yeah, it's it's, it's great. Is he still finding his way, like as a quarterback, where does he like talk loudly with you guys and like tell you what to do? I mean, it seems like he's too young to do that. Nah, he he yeah he does that. I'm not gonna lie, he he's kind of you know he's younger, so he's kind of quiet a little bit, but he he's gonna start to step up and and start to be more vocal and be a leader for our team. Uh, far as production level, not as much as I want it to be, but uh, the level and growth and the uh, confidence is definitely there. Like far as the weeks goes on, so my mental execution is going to be way better. As far as the team, I, I guess the unit, I know it encompasses a couple different positions, but just the pass rush so far for you guys, just how do you feel like you guys have done, and I guess maybe where do you feel like you need to improve, so to speak? I feel like we're definitely affecting the quarterback in most games, but we can we can we can rush better. After week one, Coach Reese talked about he wanted to see you guys crush the pocket more. Do you feel like you guys have you know gotten better at that, and, or you know are there still things that you guys want to do better in that area? Uh, yes, uh, but we also have to notice our opponent if he's a scrambler. So we're just going off our scheme and what our coach tells us to do. You want to talk, talk about your role? I mean, uh, uh, you're, you're, you and Jalen dropping into covers a little more, playing a little more true linebacker. Mm -hmm. as, as well as the Bucs. So how, how do you feel about that and how do you feel it's going? 
I feel like it's definitely opened us up to be more versatile and it's also helping us just to be better players and not only being pass rushers, but also just being versatile, basically. Is that new to you? Like playing a little bit of zone coverage and stuff like that? Uh, yes, sir, it is. It's also a big adjustment. It's also been a little burden on my shoulders for it, but it's also allowing me like just to be more versatile and get stronger in my weakness. Mm -hmm. back against Arkansas. Just, you know, what's it like to, to game plan for that sort of thing? But also, like, how much of a benefit maybe is there to play in mobile quarterbacks back to back this early in the season and just kind of having to deal with that challenge early? It's also, it's, I, I take it as a strength because it also challenged me to uh, notice my opponents on my tackles, both tackles, and just to level up the rush and to plan my scheme. Just, just all that plays a part in the quarterback. Is it a lot different playing football at Auburn than it is at Arkansas State? Yes, sir. The uh, atmosphere is very different. Yeah. The people, the fans, the coaches, uh, pretty much every, nutrition, everything is pretty much different. Yeah. So it's also been a plus for me. Do you have to work harder here? I mean, do they work you harder? Yes. The, the, my, my workload is always going to be the same. I, I don't change that for the opponent. My is always going to be the same. You mentioned nutrition. You know, how much has that been emphasized here and you know what kind of things have they done that's really helped you? Uh, Coach Zombs has helped me a lot with just knowing the amount of body mass I need to have, if I need to gain, if I need to lose, but as far as my body, I can throw on like 10 pounds if, I, if I'm if i able to. So it's, it's, it's always a plus having a, my body frame. That helps. Y'all have really uh, stepped it up in the second half the last couple of ball games. Just talk about the difference, what, you know, uh, we started off just a little slow, I would say, in the first couple quarters of a ball game, but we also picked it up as far as going down the road because Dirk, he also emphasizes that we we just got to play as as one. Like, if we face an adversity, the biggest thing we have to do is come together. So that's always been a plus, and he always preaches that. Uh, it's, 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 for me, it's kill to be killed. So I feel like as a, son, a former Sunbelt player coming to SEC was a big role and also facing my first SEC opponent, I feel like it's kill to be killed. So easily that we're going to lay down or we're going to step up to the challenge, and I feel like we will.